Now we are going to be discussing supporting systems in plants. There are basically five tissues that aid in the supporting system of a plant, and they include the parenchyma, the colenchyma, the sclerenchyma, the xylem, and the phloem tissues. Each of these tissues work hand in hand to provide support and also do other functions in helping the plant to perform its duties. And we'll be dealing with the parenchyma. The parenchyma is located in the cortex of the stem, it's located also in phloem, it's located in the root, the leaf, and the storage tissues of the plant. And what is the structure? It consists of cells with large vacuoles, we've discussed about vacuoles, and a relatively thin cell wall. You know what a cell wall is by this time. And then it also contains cellulose. The parenchyma contains cellulose and it has hair spaces within it. And I want you to note that parenchyma is the most common supporting tissue in a plant. Up next is cholenchyma. Now, the cholenchyma is located in the cortex of the stems, the roots, and the hypodermis of the leaf, that is beneath the epidermis. The structure is very simple. It's, it's, it contains living elongated cells, as long cells, with thickened cell walls, with thickened walls at the corner. Now, one thing you should know about the cholenchyma is that the cells are flexible and they allow the bending and the twisting of stem. And one of the functions of the cholenchyma is that it gives strength to the plant. As you should know, the parenchyma gives rigidity to the plant and is functional in turgidity. Once when water enters the parenchyma, it gives the plant that turgid outlook. Up next, we'll be talking about the sclerenchyma tissue. One thing to know about sclerenchyma tissue is that it is located in the pericycle of the vascular tissues. These vascular tissues include the xylem and the phloem. And it is also contained, it's also, it's also found in the cortex of the stem. Now, what is the structure of the sclerenchyma? It contains cells with thickened wall. And one thing you should note about the sclerenchyma is that it contains lignin. Lignin is more like dead plant cells. And then it also contains cellulose. And there are two types of sclerenchyma. We have the fiber and the sclerides. Now, the fibers are elongated, while the sclerides are non-elongated. The function of the sclerenchyma is that they give flexibility to the plant, especially because of the fibers. And also, they give strength, rigidity, and hardness to the plant. And then we have the xylem. And xylem has another name, which is known as wood. So, most of the wood you find in the market is actually composed of xylem tissues. Now, where is xylem tissue located? Is located in the vascular tubules of the root and the stem. Like I said, it's what you find in the market, so you should know that it should be in the root and the stem. That's that central, that central hard woody stuff that you find within the, the tree. That is the xylem. How is the structure? The xylem consists of several cells, which are the tracheids the vessels, the xylem fiber, and the xylem parenchyma. We've discussed parenchyma earlier, and they have the same function. We've also discussed um, fibers. Fibers have the same function the fibers of sclerenchyma have. is the same function the fiber in xylem have. And what is the function of xylem? Major function is support, 
They also give strength and shape to the plant. And then it, con it helps in conducting materials, especially liquid materials like water and salt, through the plant. It's a conducting tissue. Then finally, we are going to deal with phloem. Now, phloem is present in almost all the other tissues. And one of the reasons why it's present in all the other tissues is because it, pro it provides support and helps in transporting food materials. That's produced man and manufactured food. It helps in transporting it from the leaves to other parts of the tree. Now, where is phloem located? It's located in the vascular bundles, like I've said, the vascular bundles, like the xylem and even the sclerenchyma. What is the structure of the phloem? It contains some, some cells like the sieve tube, the phloem parenchyma, the phloem fiber, and some companion cells. And like I said, it conducts manufactured food from the, from the leaf to other parts of the plant and then it also provides support it helps in so in it joins the other tissues in providing support for the plant and with this we've come to the end of the lesson let us treat some past questions concerning the topic